Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke with No John today, and today we will be having a recap of the Super Bowl, which will include the game itself, the commercials, and the halftime show. But first, let's go over to news. On Friday night, two people were killed after a car accident where one was going the wrong way. The crash occurred near Banton on State Route 17. The people who were involved were a 50-year-old man driving a 2011 Kia Sorento and two late 20-year-old women with three children in the back seat of a GMC Yukon. The man driving the Sorento was driving west in the eastbound lanes, which was the wrong way. The Yukon driver tried to avoid the Sorento, but was not successful, and they both crashed head-on. The passenger in the Yukon was able to get the children out of the car, but not the driver. Two of the three children, who were three and four years old, suffered bleeding in the head, while the one-year-old had none. Both drivers from each car were escorted to the hospital, but unfortunately died there. According to police, the crash had hit a third vehicle, but the driver had no injuries. The police are also holding the names of the people involved in the crash, and it remains under investigation. Donald Trump's second impeachment trial will begin tomorrow, February 9th, just over a month after the riots at the Capitol. Trump is being charged with incitement of insurrection or the fact that Trump encouraged the rioters at the Capitol. During the course of the attack on the Capitol, five people were killed, hundreds were injured, members of Congress and staff were terrorized, and the Capitol was left with bullet marks in the walls, looted art, and smeared feces in the hallways. Where Trump's first impeachment trial was presided over by Chief Justice John Roberts, and this time it will be 80-year-old Patrick Lehigh, the longest-serving Democratic senator. Members of the House will be relying on video evidence entirely for the trial. Trump is the first president ever to be impeached twice and the only president to be put on trial after he has left office. If Trump, was, if Trump is impeached, there would be no immediate consequence. However, it may sorry, put his ability to run in 2024 in jeopardy as such a vote would only require a simple majority in the Senate. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alright, now first let's look at the game. In the first quarter it looked like it would be a close game, with the score only being 7-3 with the Bucks winning. However, the Chiefs were not in sync at all, and with a lot of penalties on the defense that gave the Bucks way more opportunities to score. Bucks QB Tom Brady threw two touchdowns to his longtime teammate Rob Gronkowski in the second quarter, while the Chiefs were only able to get a field goal. The same thing continued to happen in the third quarter, with, as the Chiefs continued to not have any offensive momentum. The game finished with a score of 31-9 with the Bucks winning. The Super Bowl MVP was Tom Brady, who threw for 201 yards and three touchdowns and now has his seventh Super Bowl ring. I personally think it should have been one of the defensive players, such as linebacker Devin White, who recorded a total of ta 12 tackles and an interception that sealed the game for the Bucks. Now, on to weather. Today, on Monday, it will be cold with a high of 23 and a low of 13. We will have lake snow north of Syracuse and another possible 3 to 6 inches for portions of Oswego County. Later in the day, however, there will be widespread snow after midnight and maybe 2 inches of new snow by the morning. There is roughly a 60% chance of a snow day, but I personally think it may be lower than that, maybe around 40 or 50%. And if there is no snow day, there is still a high chance for a delay. Tuesday will continue will continue to be some will continue to have some snow, sorry, but this will be light and moderate with minor accumulation. Tuesday will have a high of 30 and a low of 12 degrees, and I'm Grayson with your weather.
Now we'll talk about the commercials and the halftime show. Now obviously, because of COVID, both things weren't normally as good as they were, but there still were some pretty good commercials. First, there was the M&M's commercial. Now I thought this one was pretty good, pretty funny, honestly, and uh, if you want to spill your drink on me to get, so I can get some M&M's, uh, you know what, actually don't do that. I don't want uh, my drink spilled, so yeah. All right, now the second one is my personal favorite, and it was the Will Ferrell General Motors commercial. And uh, this one was pretty good, to be honest. I liked the celebrity appearances of Kenan Thompson and Will Ferrell. And I think it was pretty funny. They, uh, they got to rip on Norway, which is always funny to rip on some other country. But obviously, that's just a joke. Don't take that seriously. And yeah. And the, the last one we'll talk about is the Sesame Street DoorDash commercial. And I think that was a good one, too. It engages with the, probably the children watching uh, the Super Bowl. There probably weren't that many, to be honest, but if they were, then they would be able to relate to Sesame Street, of course. All right. Now we'll move on and talk about uh, the halftime show. And to be honest, there probably were some more, be more better commercials, but uh, America probably, most of America probably stopped watching after the halftime. So they probably didn't get to see them. And speaking of the halftime show, and of course, like the commercials were a bit underwhelming, so was the halftime show. But of course, COVID kind of restricted things, so it wasn't of um, And to be honest, I think personally, the weekend did a good job, and the show definitely got better as it progressed forward. And yeah, I think he did a good job. Uh, his vocals were good, and the um, dancing was good, of course. Backup dancers did a good job. All right, and now we'll go on to sports. SQ Basketball took a tough loss to, the Clem to Clemson, 61-78. to Joe Girard III led the team in points with 19. The Philadelphia 76ers remain the number one team in the Eastern Conference of the NBA after beating the Brooklyn Nets 124-108 to on Saturday. Joel Embiid led the team in points with 33 for the 76ers. I'm Aiden with your sports. Well, I know it was an odd Super Bowl because of COVID, of course, and I know it was an odd show as well because, of course, there's no John, so it's a little weird without him, but you know what? It'll be fine. We'll move on, and uh, hopefully next year it'll be better, and uh, that's all we have today, and uh, from me here and everybody else here at the morning show, have a great day.